Welcome back to the Tidy Room here. This is Mike. Today I want to talk to you about the weekly news in review for August 11th, 2024. 2024. And you got kids, most of y'all, this will be like the last week of summer. And then other places, maybe you got two more weeks of summer left. And some places have already gone back in. But there's news. It seems to be lately since SDCC. A little light on the news, but there's still a whole lot going on. From Transformers to G.I. Joe, and yes, there's a little bit of stuff going on with G.I. Joe. This past week, though, was absolutely crazy with Hasbro. This is Hyatt Toys and their 1 18th scale, so around 4 inch scale. We'll talk about that. And then there's Storm Collectibles, King of Fighters, Ultimate Match, uh, Ralph Jones action figure, and I think they're done with Street Fighter. I move into King of Fighters, and don't know if we're getting that Blanca or not, but we'll find out. Then uh, we've got this thing paused or on hold or delayed or whatever. We will talk about their statement on this. And we've got McFarlane. Oh, Tom McFarlane's making music. Maniacs. Now, he's not making music himself, but he's making the figures that make the music. And uh, that's kind of cool. They don't sing or anything. These are just musicians that are in sort of semi semi-articulated statues and then we have a batmobile going up for pre-order i believe it's the 15th of this month so it'll be coming pretty soon on amazon we'll talk about that and then a little bit of star wars stuff not a lot but hey and when there's a little bit of star wars that's better than usual we'll talk about this and more coming up All right, what is new at Show Z Store? There is the Robot Toys RT-03 Working Leopard. That is Working Leopard. It's Cheetor. It's supposed to be a Cheetor. It is going to be about 3.43 inches tall. It is legend scale, and if the other figures they made are actually... If this lives up to those, I'd be happy. I think they're doing a good job with all those. And then we got into more sort of legend stuff. Now, this one here is kind of tricky. This is the G1, G-I, O-N-E, BSD-01, Endless Equipment Poseidon. This is their trip card. It looks like a one-to-one -one scale down, so maybe a little smaller. It's 11.02 inches. So instead of 18 inches, like we saw the Titan Returns one from Hasbro, this is shrunk down a little bit, a little bit bigger than half the size. And it is on sale right now. It's not only in stock, on sale for 95 bucks. if you're interested in that. Remember, TH Reviewer Code if you want to help the channel out. But there's a couple other things that we're going to talk about. And I'll also point out if they're available at Shozier or Gundamit. First off, we've got Fans Toys' official site. Their official YouTube. And by the way, I'm not showing their videos anymore. I heard somebody got in trouble for using Fans Toys footage. But I'm not exactly sure the situation surrounding that. So I'm going to leave it alone for a while and all that cool off. So I'm just going to show you snapshots from their video. You can go over to Fansway's official YouTube and watch this. But this is their unboxing showing you what's in the box. What's in the box? This is the Realm of Collectors guys. Always have a Realm, Realm of Collectors what's in the box segment. Here is kind of showing you how to put it together and assemble it. This is Maverick or Silverbolt getting put into the torso. And they show you every step of the way. It's a 40 minute video. And I gotta tell you, if you're telling every step and showing it in detail, like uh, the average reviewer, it's gonna be well over an hour to assemble this guy in a video. So I'm gonna do mine separate, definitely. It's gonna do the. Is it Slingshot that's coming next? This comes with all this. And then I'll have to do the combining separate, completely separate. That's like an hour long. Just that. Just that this alone they did it separately too and it was 40 something minutes just to combine it but i want to point out that the way the feet connect and the way the shoulders connect and the thighs i think that it's really solid connections i saw that that how they did it looks really really solid it has to be really really solid because it's so heavy it's holding up a lot of weight a lot of metal a lot of metal in this bad boy and it looks pretty good so i do believe that this this looks like the engineering was already incorporated for this, and I'm just not sure what took them so long to get it out, but maybe it was worth the wait because it's going to be a pretty solid one. I haven't really seen a review of anybody 
reviewing it just yet, but fans always putting their transformation video out. Hopefully it's helpful to everybody. Next up, we have the KO company making this here. This is the Conehead Thrust, and it's made based sort of off of the Takara mold. Of course, there's some stuff redone to it to make it a little bit different, but it, it looks pretty good. I mean, this is an in-hand shot, and I'm sure we're going to be seeing a lot more people having this in hand, and it looks great. Also, there's the alt modes of it, and I think the alt mode looks pretty good. But the one fun thing, I, I did a, since there's a video of it, and uh, I did take a picture of it. I, I'd say it's partially transformed here. These pictures come from Golden Zen on YouTube. If you want to check it out, I think he's got the first video about this figure, and it looks pretty good. I didn't see anything. I didn't hear anything that bothered me in the video, but I didn't see anything that bothered me either. So, for those of you asking about the Star Toys and their bots, there's also DX9 making car bots too. So these are not the same company that's making the Prowl, and uh, I think they're making a Prowl and a side swipe. This one is tracks from Star Toys. They're showing an update, and it looks good. It looks every bit of this looks good, and of course they got to get it right. Uh, that's next to some sort of a repaint of Takara's tracks, and you can kind of see the design differences, which I think this does look better. I mean, they, they're doing it better. Of course, they're doing it seven years later, so that's a big difference too. The the technology, the techniques, the things that we do now, or they do now, than what was done in the past is so much different. The alt mode looks really too clean. Yeah, it looks clean. It looks really good. They've done a great job with this, and uh, I look forward to getting the figure. I definitely will be picking this one up. Okay, we got some pictures of Fans Toys Metal Hawk. This is their prototype figure, and it's Transformers Master Force. So that's kind of cool looking. Overall, I think they did a pretty good job with it. Here is a size comparison picture so you can get a good look and that's just uh, on the right i know that's a fans hobby figure i'm not sure about the one on the left but anyway that's some sort of prime over there so so it's a pretty decent size it's probably not more than about eight inches it looks like about eight inches to me and then i think we got an alt mode picture of this and yes we do alt mode picture so that's what it's supposed to look like and it doesn't look bad to me. It looks pretty good overall. All right, so there's a figure. It's from Pengu Toys called the PT-12. They're already on to 12 figures now. The Black Dragon. And this is... Okay. They didn't want to come out and say it. It's Snake Eyes. In... It's Snake Eyes in Transformer mode. They call it some sort of ninja something, but... Uh, Black Dragon Ninja. Try looking that up. You're going to find a Rambo figure, by the way. That's a black dragon from Coleco. But this is... It's pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. It's something kind of off-the-wall. Pangu Toys, though, they've delivered some quality products so far. Some good stuff. I'm, I'm happy with the... I think I only got three things from them so far. But I'm happy with the three things I got from them. So if you're interested in this, if this tickles your fancy, I think it'll be a pretty good figure. So we got people having fun with the YOLO Park Nemesis figure showing how... Prime's turning evil? Is that, is that a head sculpt that is partially Prime, partially Nemesis? That the whole setup was for, and then you could pop off the uh, hip panel and make it the Nemesis uh, picture on there with the green. So it's like transforming. That's kind of cool. And yeah, that, that is kind of cool. I wonder if you could even pop off the chest piece and make that black also. And it's like he's converting, but... That's an interesting uh, thing with this being a model kit, a, a faux model kit, all these pop parts pop off relatively easily because you had to pop them on in the first place. And so stuff like this is possible. Yellow part, not a masterpiece, but pretty close. All right, so we got a Mech Fans Toys Mechanic Studio MS21A Fire Flow. And here's the thing. This is actually looking to be, if I'm not wrong, a hot rod versus their Rodimus. They've already made a Rodimus. They haven't given us our blur yet, though. I mean, before we go much further, they haven't given us our blur. There's some promises they haven't kept, and I think they had one. I'm pretty sure they they had one for a pre-orders up for a Warpath, but maybe that wasn't them. But anyway, looking at this though, I think it looks good. 
It does copy some of the stuff from their Rodimus, but it's not exactly the same. And the hot rod looks cool. Really, there is zero hot rods. There are zero hot rods in the Legend scale unless you kind of count anything that Hasbro made, but it wouldn't be on this level. Looks really good to me. And then also they've got the fishing pole picture where he just off to fishing, which is the dead, dead, dead giveaway that this is going to be a hot rod, not a Rodimus, because they, you always get the fishing pole with the hot rod. But the other giveaway is the alt mode does not look. You don't have a Winnebago mode, so it's just the hot rod it is the you know, hot rod of a car. Looks like you should probably be able to tab that rear end just a little bit better, but nothing's perfect, right? Sticking with the legend stuff, we've got Iron Factory, the IFEX 43R Scarlet Primal Commander. This is a BM Primal. Okay, whatever it is specifically, it is a repaint of their Optimus, Optimal Optimus. And I remember that part of the story back with there it was kind of cool i don't remember it being this coloration but i'm sure there's some good reason for it this does look like more uh, optimus prime colors though I mean, the other one had a lot of yellow in it and stuff but this is pretty cool looking overall and there's the uh monkey mode this is a uh, kind of the argument truck not monkey <laughs> here it goes into this mode whatever it is some sort of uh looks like perceptor missing parts in a way and then the jet mode which I definitely remember that. So it's a cool looking repaint of an interesting figure that they, they took their own take on and it still looks pretty good. All right, so Takara, getting into like Hasbro and Takara mainline stuff, a nice transition with Takara though. This is their 40A Lyo Convoy and it does look way different. And the new one is on the... The left. The left is the new one, the right's the old one, and people are saying that the new one is more animation accurate, and that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool if they're going that route. And let's see if I've got another picture of this. Yes, indeed, here's the bot mode, and good to see the differentiation between the two and the comparison to the original. Makes a lot more sense. It was much, uh, much better. It's much clearer to see the differences now than before where I just was trying to pull from memory. It's been a while since I've seen the figure. I think I might have one of these, but it's not on, definitely not on display. Okay, so we got pictures from Takara of their Takara Tomi Transformers 1 Brave Commander Optimus Prime. The $80 one, so this is a pretty good size. This is the one that's about Masterpiece scale, I believe. I believe it's like 11 or 12 inches or something along those lines. It's big, but it's 80 bucks and this is, I think that's the uh, the the standard size one that would be kind of a Voyager versus this. If I'm right, I'm wrong. I'm trying to decipher, like, what's a Prime Changer Optimus Prime? How big is that one? I'm not exactly sure. I kind of feel like it's Voyager. So this one's next to that little Voyager in comparison. I think it does look pretty good. They've done a pretty good job with it. We've got some Transformers Legacy United G1 Universe Optimus Prime in-hand images, a.k.a the budget version of Missing Link. And yes, it is very much so. The budget version of Missing Link gets smaller, but it does look pretty decent. It looks pretty cool. If you've got Missing Link, I don't know if you need this, but, you know, Prime always sells. So it's really hard to find an excuse to not buy a Prime. It seems like a pretty good excuse to buy a Prime. And it's been pretty popular, sold out on a couple of places. I think it might have come back in stock, though. I haven't really checked, because I haven't pre-ordered anywhere. It's going to be one of those buys where... I stumble across it, I'll probably buy it. Okay, we got more pictures of the Star Raider Thundertron, Calcitron, uh, Night Strike 3 pack going on here. And I've got to say that I really am not too excited for this. Uh, price point wise, it's a big part of the problem and the figures. But it's also cool that some people are getting stuff a little bit outside the norm. And that's kind of cool. It's a Walmart exclusive three pack so there there it is gonna be kind of hard to get probably if you're into it but let's look at the alt mode real quick and this is everything that's that middle size one is supposed to be kind of like a rock lord so this is the rock lords some of them most of them so far i'm not really impressed with what they're doing with the whole rock lord looking situation and i know they they really can't sell toys that just turn into rocks so this is uh 
Rock Lords will have to stay in the 80s in, in the modern era. you got to get something that's a uh, compromise. Extreme compromise. All right, so we got some more official pictures. This is the... You know, this one is Galvatron. I don't know what I was... I knew that was Megatron or Galvatron uh, remold. And there's that one. And the Energon Universe. Then this would be the Quake with Heater and Tip Top. That makes a lot more sense to me. I was spaced out for a second there, not really getting what the pictures were matching up to but there it goes that does look pretty good and it's kind of cool to have some power masters there no target masters in there that'll work okay now we're getting into stuff stuff that i'm more comfortable with this is a sound wave. this is sound wave this is the leader uh pack and it's coming with all these cassettes and they're looking more and more retro as they go so pretty cool if you missed out on the first three times Okay, so this is the Hasbro China cartoon Neza, Neza versus Transformers. This is a crossover of Transformers for the most part. Now, this is, I don't know if this is going to make it over into the U.S. or not. It says that we've even had the first promotional trailer and official pictures. Several toys were released and even a production material was shared. But later, we hadn't had any update on the series over the years. We could think the series was canceled. Now there's also a a trailer in U.S. sub, so it might get over here in English. Not sure about that, but it's just something interesting. It's kind of cool that's going on, and it seems like it's probably been in the works for a while. It'll have 52 episodes, expect to be released later this year on Chinese websites, and um, are talking about this. All right, quick update on Ramen Toy. If you're interested in ordering any of these. Uh, tanks or tank upgrades then it's fifty dollars down i believe per tank and per upgrade now, i'm only going to get one upgrade though and so it's fifty dollars down you can pay the rest when it comes uh ready to ship and the early bird price is only gonna last i believe another week so if you want to get on that early bird price 140 instead of 200 then i would suggest to jump on it pretty soon i haven't ordered mine yet i'm about to so reminder to myself note to self order these Getting some G.I. Joe news. This is up for pre-order at places. Uh, and I saw I got this off BBTS. So it's up different places out there. Uh, I think I got it from His Tank. His Tank was talking about BBTS having it in stock or Entertainment Earth. I think that's how it went. But anyway, uh, HisTank.com has got a lot of info on it. And also, BB but it's 90 bucks if you're in on this. And that's probably not too far off from getting a complete vintage one. But this one actually transforms. All right, so this past week we had... All of the SDCC stuff from Hasbro go up for pre-order. I think it was on the 5th. Was that Monday? Wow. Uh, that was crazy what happened. Uh, no, it was Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? Monday or Tuesday. Okay, Monday went up for pre-order, but nobody knew about it at the last second. I got over there like nine minutes or something after. I got an email six minutes after the hour, and they were already done. A little did I know, they were already well done, sold out. And then, uh, so that was allegedly the leftover stock from SDCC, and then they put more back up Tuesday. See, I was really frustrated. I did make a video. Uh, it's one of my, I gotta say, the stats of this video is crazy, but I did get mine. So, so everybody knows, I did get mine ordered, and I actually ordered one for a friend of mine, too, because he kept calling me, if you're gonna get it, get it, because you got premium, I don't. So, hook, hooking a friend of mine up. Now, mine won't come in until September 15th, but still... Pretty cool that it actually got another shot. Really sucks that it only lasted about 30 seconds to two minutes, according to people, because uh, this is really high demand item and it's it's kind of crazy. I got some people that were, I guess, bashing me for saying something negative about it, but I don't care. It's It really sucks that you can't, if you're there on time, you couldn't get it. Or if, even if you got premium, you don't have but 30 seconds, 45 seconds to, to order it. And it, it was crazy, but I did get mine, and a lot of people got theirs. There's still a ton of people that didn't, and I've got proof of that. And looking at this here, 4,400 views is, is a good amount of views. That, that 519, that's how many comments there were. That's a large number of comments, and I got 26 dislikes. I'm sure by the time this posts, I'll have 30 dislikes on that video, but I'm just saying it's really interesting, the dynamics in this and all of the analytics behind this video. I'm not busting on this cell or anything, but literally, just just look at this. There's people out there that got their pre-orders placed and then literally sold off five of them for 90 bucks each. 
Uh, I would say it's impressive. It's impressive that that happened impressively bad. And I'm, I'm not talking trash about this cell or anything because there were at least a dozen uh, just like this that were, they put all five up for cell. They weren't keeping one for themselves. I'm sure they got their own personal one at SCCC, right? Here's a quick look at the Hyatt Toys uh, Viper. It is not up for pre-order just yet on uh, Shozy's other site, Gundamit. But it's uh, it, it's an early look at this, and I'm sure it'll be up there soon. But I did go over to Gundamit to check it out, and they had a Crimson, there's a Crimson Guard, which looks really good. And I think this looks pretty good too. It's a little stylized for my take, and I know their goal on this is to kind of sort of match the style that Classified was going with in the early days. But some of them look phenomenal. I think this looks good. I think it looks good. And if you're going for a super ultra retro one, that's already been done by Hasbro. So I understand why they're not trying to match ultra retro. These are $30 uh, four inch figures though. Gotta point that out. All right, so getting into Todd McFarlane and a couple of things there. Their music maniacs are kind of cool looking, kind of interesting, and they're probably pretty affordable. 20 to $25 price point. Not really all that poseable, but are they really going to need to be that poseable? They can stand there and hold the guitar. That's pretty much all you would need with it. Slash is cool. Slash has always been kind of a favorite of GNR. But then we get over here with uh, We Are the Champions. Freddie Mercury. Good old Bohemian Rhapsody. Freddie Mercury with Queen. Pretty cool looking figure. Looks like he did... Pretty much, and uh, kind of reminds me of the movie. They actually made a movie about him, which was pretty cool. But anyway, this figure, he can stand there. He can hold his mic. I think that's all you really need him to do. So we got the Glow in the Dark, limited edition, Amazon exclusive, Batmobile. Supposed to be going up for pre-order on the 15th if you're in on this. And I got to say, I think it's cool. I've got a vintage one of those. It's not complete, but I kind of feel like I, I've got... The 89 Batmobile, I've got iterations of the 66, and the animated version one came in recently. And that's all I need on Batmobiles. But other Batmobile collectors, it's kind of like this. I've got way more than three Optimus Prime. Three Batmobiles is my limit there, but other people could collect up to like 20 or something different Batmobiles, and it's cool looking. It's very interesting what they did with it. So I can understand why people be wanting this, but... It's one of those things that I heard there's another Batmobile. I'm like, what? So, he, hey, don't put it in anything past Todd. He's probably going to make every iteration out there. This is a gold version. I do believe it does come with Alfred, which it makes it tempting because that's a good-looking Alfred. But I think they are releasing a single-carded Alfred. But I don't think it's going to have the same level of articulation. It's part of the 66 line to get an Alfred. So this one's a little bit bigger. But fit in with the rest of your stuff if you're collecting this line. So we have to go there, we have to do this, we have to talk about this. The snake lair is, it's the crowdfund is delayed. It is, well, I'll just read it to you. The buzz from the Motu community has been electric since we unveiled the Origin Snake Lair crowdfund campaign last week. Some fans were excited about it and some expressed genuine concerns and feedback. As a trusted member of Motu community, they wanted they want everyone to know that they listen to the feedback and make sure we, they want to get it right. We're positioning the launch of the crowdfund to incorporate fan feedback. We believe in the snake layer and we know the Moti community does too because it was voted as the top choice for attorneys. Uh, choice. I didn't vote for it. I, did, I had two votes. I didn't vote for it. I think it looks cool though. I'll get to that. But snake layer will be back and better than ever. Let me say this. I don't think anything they did on this is bad at all. I think it looks fantastic. Some people are saying it doesn't look like the original artwork. The only problem is it's so big. And, like, where are people going to put it? And then, with it being that big, it needs to command a $300 price point. If they were to rework it, which, I, my gosh, how much money they already sunk in this. They rework it again and take it down to something around a $200 level. I would be happy with that. I wouldn't have a problem with that. If they're going to crown fund it. $200 one, but they're saying at 300 people are like, no. Now, I think they're saying, they were thinking, okay, at 300 it's going to be bare bone tiers, but then at 350 you get a bunch of great tiers. So, if they rework it, maybe it could be a 200 
$200 or $250 one and a little smaller and have some good tiers. That's possibly what they're going to do. I'm not sure, but I think it looks fine the way it is. The size is the only real problem for a lot of people. And for me, like, I don't know where I put it. Like, I'm maxed out on my display space for Motu, so I've been really cutting back on Motu a lot because I just really don't have any more room for any of it. And uh, I've got everything I really need for the most part. So that's why I don't even get mad about stuff that I'm missing out. Like, I got everything I need. I feel like a lot of redundancies are coming along the way. So with it, though, uh, it looks cool. I'd have backed one, but I probably wouldn't have opened it because I don't have a place to put it. But I think it looks really cool. Let's switch gears to talk about some rodents here. This is the Toy Talica picture. But uh, Nacelle has gotten their biker mice into Walmart. And uh, they've infested Walmart with their biker mice. And uh, I'm hoping to see their $25 Sektar figure, their Dargon, the Night Fighting Dargon, which has got a real shiny silver to it, uh, to show up at Walmarts too. So I expect to see a lot more stuff. They've got their Power Lords line. They've got a few other lines uh, to get in there, the Robo Force. And with that, it would be a lot of fun to be able to just pick these up. Now, I've already got them, so I didn't need them, but 30 bucks. I mean, it's, it's a reasonable price for the figures if you're into the line, or if you're not, you just think one's cool. I'm wondering, though, could they get the bikes in there? I mean, how far is this going to go? And that is exciting that Walmart picked up this much stuff. All right, so there's an alternate NECA Mondo Gecko up for pre-order. It's up for pre-order, but I saw it at Target the other day, too. And uh, I, I've already got one of these. I don't need another one, but I still think it's cool. It's interesting. But all the stuff they make looks really good. But now they're kind of going in the uh, Archie Comics version of Mono Gecko. And they're also giving you stuff from two packs in separate packs for 36 bucks. So instead of $52 back when they were two packs, which now the two packs are like pushing 60, uh, it's 35 retail. And uh, it's listed at Walmart on Walmart's website, but pretty cool. All right, Storm Collectibles showing off their King of Fighters Ultimate Match 98. Ralph Jones action figure. I gotta say, I don't know anything about this character. Really don't know anything about King of Fighters. I never played it. Or if I did, I didn't play it very much. Not enough to get into it like I did with Street Fighter. Street Fighter was like one of those addictions for a while, which is kind of, I'm sure there's the King of Fighters people with their addictions. I played King of Fighters. I found it on, I think it was the Neo Geo Pocket. And I played it a bit on there. But they were all cartoony on that. And I actually would not want to buy the cartoony versions. I would rather buy... Some bigger, but it's still kind of cool. It's kind of fun. This is a good looking figure, Storm Collectibles. So it's probably like 90 bucks, but they do good work and their figures look amazing. All right, so this is the deluxe wave of Simpsons figures, and they are available to pre order at Entertainment Earth. This is Radioactive Man, Vampire Mr. Burns, and the Incredible Bulk Homer Simpson. And they're five inch deluxe action figures, so they should be. You know, the thing is, they're not much bigger, or, or they're just repaints of what they're making for the $13 price point, but they're charging $25, but they're adding a lot more stuff with it. So that's why they're deluxe, I guess, double the price. Uh, it looks like one of them lights up, and you get some extra stuff like a casket there for good old Burns. Anyway, uh, cool stuff. You, I don't know if you're going to see this in the store, though. And I'm, I haven't even seen the rest of the Wave 1. I only saw a couple of Wave 1 in the store because they got one case and most half of it sold and I, I got what was left but there's not much out there I mean you can buy the whole set and that's the other problem is most of these places are selling them not individually for 13 they're selling most of them are selling them for you gotta buy the whole set Jax is who's making this and Jax uh, also has a two and a half inch line which comes with a really good looking living room uh, what, what does it come with it you have to pay 20 bucks for it and uh, I did pick one up I picked a living room up but it would fit, I think it would perf be perfectly fine for the 2.5 inch or the 5 inch line. So that works for me, for the living room, for any of them. But this is Wave 2. So here we go with Wave 2. And this has Sh Sideshow Bob, Krusty the Clown, Itchy Scratchy, and Bart. The Itchy and Scratchy Show! And Bart's got like a slingshot with a slingshot. And I guess he hit himself in the eye with it. But there is the next wave. All right, so the shipping notices are going out for the Vintage Collection Job of the Hut set. This is for... They're sold out. Pre-orders are sold out, and they should be shipping soon. But then I'm sure it'll come back in stock. Uh, this was an expensive set. Um, the reason the low quality... I figured out why I've got some low quality pictures. So when I go to Dutch Chipper Ar Archives, they're 
they're doing uh, picture hosting. They're hosting link hosting versus hosting the pictures themselves on this stuff. So that's why it looks like this. Anyway, uh, if you're interested in this, go check it out. You'll probably be able to get it when it comes back into stock. And I know they did the same thing with the Palace, uh, the Java Palace. And then they went on clearance for like 148 and That's a good set for 148 All right, we are getting into a few other good things here. This is the new TVC items arriving in the U.S. I got this information from Yak Face and Star Wars sites, like it's Feast or Fabins. They'll have one week where it's a lot of stuff. And then the next week, there's nothing. So they just got to talk about what's showing up. What's, yay, well, what we heard about in a while back is now showing up, but... All this stuff should be arriving in the U.S., and so your orders should be getting filled pretty soon if you ordered any of this stuff. I did not order any of this stuff myself, but if you did, look forward to it soon. All right, D23 brought us some interesting stuff, I guess. I didn't really watch any of it, according to the news. Rock, The Rock is hosting it. Is that a thing? He's hosting this Disney thing that's going on, this event, but this is the RX series pilot droid, and it's it's talking droid. It's a magic in the details. Limited release includes light and sound effects, button activated character phrases, eyes and mouth light up in sync with the phrases, 13 points of articulation inspired by Star Wars Saga, and size. The figure itself is seven and a half inches by four and a half by three and three quarters, which I mean that's not how tall. It's it's almost eight seven and a half to eight inches tall, which should that's that's a good size for it it's it's pretty interesting they say that it's uh gonna be a good seller or something like that you get it at this shop disney store for only 35 bucks so it's 35 bucks do a lot of stuff electronics seems like a pretty good deal if it was a droid i was interested in all right so we got some other stuff allegedly from d23 that there were trailers of mandalo no uh, and or season two and then there was trailers for the Skeleton Crew, and or more information about Skeleton Crew. But there's also going to be a movie for a Mandalorian, so a Mandalorian movie. So there's a lot of stuff coming out of this. But, you know, it's interesting. Uh, the Disney Plus is now going up by $2 a month for both with ads and without ads. And the reason I know this is because my wife was like, there's, we're not getting it. They're raising the price, and it's too expensive for what it is. And I'm like, I'm fine because I, I don't really care. But uh, interesting what's going on with this. And they did post, uh, Profits Disney did post like $4.2 billion in profits. That's pretty good. So I'm going to leave you this image from S. Stellary on X. It's a digibash of that Transformer from Star Toys. But what else is going on this week? What did I miss? What other good stuff is out there? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe to Darren Panger out.